What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Bad Gaming. It is always a favorite to HNIC back about the Don, and I am back today with a free horror gameplay. I don't know what games we're gonna play today. What I do know is that we're gonna start with Eyeless Jack. So I know you have your drinks sacks, so without further ado, let's get right at it now. Hello, my name is Mitch. Hi, Mitch. I'm tell you about an experience I had a few months ago. Okay, what's good, bro? I what happened? I have no idea if it was paranormal or whatever stupid words people used to describe supernatural phenomena. Okay. But after this experience, I started to believe in it. All right, so whatever happened to Mitch, he starts to believe in the occult. Is that Mitch? Well, that nigga ugly as hell. The last things. I'm glad you didn't leave me in this, Edwin. Your family, Mitch. Oh, is that Ed that's Edwin? Never mind. I'm Mitch. That's Edwin. Let's just move those boxes inside already. It's getting cold. All right, Edwin. So Edwin's helping me move boxes into, I guess, my house, my new house. All right. Well, I appreciate you, Edwin. You're a good friend, bro. Guys, people don't help you move no more, bro. I helped the family friend move recently. Uh, and it's just like, niggas just don't care, bro. Like, you got to move, niggas just like, you be all right. But Edwin's a, Edwin's A1, bro. He's helping me move even though he's not moving. Edwin, you want to grab a box, bro? There's two more, bro. If we work together, we could be done right now. No? Am I just taking all the boxes by myself, Edwin? It looks like I'm taking the boxes by myself. All right, cool. So does each box go into just my main room? Or are they just like in different rooms? Let's try the bathroom real quick. All right, no. They just all go into my main room. All right. So if they're all going into the same room, why can't Edwin help me, bro? That nigga lazy, bro. What kind of what kind of shit you got on your wall? Got a Nirvana t-shirt. My bad. A Nina t-shirt. A Nina t-shirt. Um, some cars. Nigga, is that Scooby-Doo right there? Like, what the fuck? Hey, Edwin, thank you for grabbing the last box, bro. You A1, big dog. Thank you. Here, let me show you. You want to bring it down the hallway, right? Take a right and then just put it right here, bro. Appreciate you. Edwin, down here, bud. You just gotta, you gotta put the box right there, bro. Edwin. Do I have to take the box from Edwin? Bro. What you pick up the box for? Just leave it on the ground. If, if I have to take it from this nigga, there's a problem. Do I have to take this from you? Nigga. Give me the box. Thanks. Bitch ass nigga. Fuck you. No, not thanks. Fuck you. How dare you? Why did he pick it up off the ground? Leave that shit on the ground if you're not. Where did he go? Edwin. Oh. All right. I thought he just left. I was like, bro, are you serious? Is you smoking that booth in my new house, bro? Let me get a hit. Let me get a hit. You started smoking, huh? Oh, no. Just regular cigarettes. That's nasty, you bro. One? Nasty, bro. No, nah, bro. I don't, I don't smoke know. like that, bro. Why don't you get some rest? You had quite a long ride to get here. Am I at, am I living with Edwin? Or is I, am I in my own house right. and Edwin helped me move? Because this nigga talking like I moved in with him. Cause he's just kind of chilling, but there's only one bedroom. Oh, maybe Edward's bedroom is right here, and I'm taking his spare bedroom. Got it, got it. He got a two bedroom house type shit. Can I shut the door? No, I'm not going to bed with the door open. That's insane. Nah, dog. All right, we're going to bed with the with the door open, guys. Night, night. One twelve a.m. Hear some rustling in the woods. You guys heard it. You heard it. It was out that that way. You heard it. I guess that was in the middle of the night. I just heard rustling. I looked by the window and I didn't see anything. Uh, so I guess that's the end of the first night. So second night, Edwin, you still out here? Oh, he's drinking coffee this time. How you doing, Edwin? Good morning. Hey, man. Did you sleep well? Nah, I heard some crazy shit outside yeah, last night, bro. I only heard some strange rustling outside, but I guess it was just. I appreciate Mitch's outside. honesty, guys. Yeah, I agree. That's most likely it. Would you mind raking the leaves outside the house? I will make breakfast in the meantime. Cool. Can I get some coffee? Sure thing. Can I get some coffee first? Get somewhere around the entrance. Okay. I appreciate that, bro. But like, you drinking coffee? Can I get some? Let me get a cup, bro. Where's the uh? Where's the pot, nigga? Did you did you really make yourself a cup of coffee? Pour the rest of the water out, bitch, bro. It was a terrible like, like roommate, high key, bro. I thought I was like gas this nigga because I thought he was helping me move into my house, but it looks like I'm helping Edwin. 
and I'm moving to his house, which is cool. But they're like, you can't make me no coffee in the morning, nigga. Like, all right, let's let's just guys, let's clean up the leaves, yeah. I don't think anything crazy is gonna happen, so we're gonna just kind of fast forward through all this, yeah. Just smack all these leaves out of here real quick, yep. Oh, there's blood under my window, guys. Guys, I was moving, I was raking leaves, and there's blood under my window. Nope. I'm gonna just take this in the house, guys, because I. Oh, okay. I guess when I went to walk into the house, he put it down. All right, fine. We're good to go. Hey, Edwin, I think. Hey, this nigga actually made me breakfast, guys. He actually made breakfast, bro. We got uh, we got some pound. My bread is sliced. His bread is sliced. We got an egg, some OJ, bro. Say less. Let me let me pop a squat. A nigga hungry, bro. Do I have to talk to him for what? What? I cooked some eggs. I know. Let me sit down. Shit. Why do I have to talk to him for that? I know you made eggs. I can see. All right, twelve fifty six a.m., bro. Give me about this raggedy motherfucking house, bro. All right, so now I'm up. Just yeah, close the window. Y'all heard that too? All right, so I closed the window last night because of the crickets. Um. And then I went back to bed. So, night, I guess day three. He's got coffee. What's going on? What the hell happened to you? Take a look in the mirror. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What is he talking about? What do you mean what happened to me? Oh, I have a gash on the side of my face. An hour later. Hmm. It seems like you've been sleepwalking, Mitch. I have no other explanation for that. What? That's strange. How does the gash on my face equate to sleepwalking? Indeed. But there is something more disturbing than just gash. What? Did somebody I'm take my kidney? What? What? A nigga took my kidney? At n what? I'm sorry, bitch. Huh? No, you gotta have a better answer than that. Nah, nigga, you got another kidney I can borrow, bro? Like, look, nigga, you don't need both of yours. You're not getting paid. I'm telling my insurance you didn't help me, bro. Before you go, do you I ain't signing shit. I ain't signing shit. You ain't done nothing for me. I'm missing a kidney and I still have a cut on my face. And you want me to sign this? What's it say? You didn't help me, and I can't sue you. Fuck all that. I'm going. Bye, bitch. Take care, bitch. Fuck you. Thank you. So, Edwin, I got a gash in my face, right? But they also told me I'm now also missing a kidney. I, I'm going through it, bro. What's wrong with your house? How did it go? Terribly. He thinks I'm sleepwalking. That's bullshit. How could this be the case? I don't know. I'm so fucked up. Anyway, take this key. It belongs to your room. Two days in, no. guys. By the way, here's a key for your bedroom. And Mitch. Yes. If there's anything bothering you, you can always tell me about it. Okay. I know. Thanks, Edwin. Dog, I don't know what happened to my character. My nigga went to sleep last night, shut the window. Because it was a gate. But I guess when it was a gate, that's when the nigga came by and took my kidney. He, when my window was cracked, then he busted open. Took my kidney, dipped. I woke up in the middle of the night and was like, damn, I'm tired. Shut the thing. Did not feel the kidney stitches in my sternum and went back to sleep. Am I going to sleep again? All right. My nigga woke up, went to a doctor's point and said, that's it for the day. 12.05 a.m., guys. I've been doing this for like three nights now, so. Nothing. Oh, who the fuck is that? I need my camera fast. All right, grab the camera then. Hi, bitch. Yeah, lock him in the room. Edwin, wake that ass up. He don't hear the banging? Wake up, Edwin. I told you that nigga a terrible roommate, bro. I've been told you Edwin was a terrible roommate. That nigga probably the one playing with my fucking kidneys and shit. 
That's why he gave me a key to the room to pretend like I was safe. So he could play with me some more, bro. Then he walked up into my room with some weird ass freaky ass mask. Where am I supposed to go? So I guess I ran in the guy who saw me caught me. And now I'm in a hospital good bed. Morning, Mick. Hi. I have some good. Oh advice. Jesus Christ. What's wrong with the me good now? News is that you only had minor injuries and your parents are Is Edwin to... dead? Is that the bad news? However, the bad news is that your brother, Edwin, was from dead. I'm terribly sorry for your loss. They really, they, yo really pulled up to my room, took my kidney one night. The next I came into the house, murked me and my brother. Or tried to murk me, murk my brother, and then let me go. How's my camera still on the bed? All right, whatever. Oh, shit. Is this what happened? That walk past his body initially? Edwin, I'm so sorry, dog. I didn't know moving in with you was going to end up with you being dead, bro. If I had known that, I would have moved in with, with sissy and shit. You living out in the middle of nowhere, though, you probably should have realized that that could have happened to you, bro. You had your windows open and shit. You ain't had no uh, no safety at all, bro. You, you gave me the key on the third day, bro. Like, you live in, like, a four-bedroom shack type shit. Like, nigga, you should have known this was going to happen to you, bro. Honestly, it was some real shit. I don't feel bad for you, nigga. Fuck you. This house sucks. What do you mean what's that on the floor? My my brother's dead body? Like, what are you talking about? What's that thing on the floor? Guys, what is he? What? Did I just pick something up? Was that my kidney I just picked up out of this spot right here? All right. Can I leave now? All right. Mom, look, mom, dad, let's go, bro. Let's get out of here, bro. Are you okay, son? You sound just like my doctor, bro. Is yeah, that my kidney? I'm okay, Dad. I'm just. What? All right, ladies and gentlemen, for our second gameplay of today, we are playing a game called Ritual. Tonight's the night, y'all. I don't know what that means, but tonight's the night. You know, probably tonight's the night for the ritual type shit. See, they got crystals above the door, like. Let's see. They got uh this is kind of hella zoomed in actually. Damn, old dubstep as knock on my front door, bro. Hello. Look through the people. Alright, open the door. Hey girl. Hey. It's time. Are you gonna let me in? Duh, come on in. Great. Let's get started. I don't know where we're about to start, guys. I told you the game's called Ritual. Yeah, I didn't. I, I don't do much reading after that, bro. I read the title. I look at the picture, and the picture had this girl right here. And she looked like this, standing kind of like how she's standing right now. So I, I figured, why not? You know? I need to have better reasons to play games. I'm sorry, guys. Hey, friend. There's no time to waste. Is this a good spot? Uh, it's perfect. Okay, you grab the herb. I'll get us ready here. All right, cool. You want some zest? We got zest in the crib? She said get the herb. It's got to be in the bathroom, bro, because, you know, it's the climate type shit. No, there's some candles in this bitch. Where the herb at? Where the where the herb at? Where the herb at? That's crystals. Where the herb at? I found enough candles to to light a monastery, but I haven't found any herbs yet, guys. I'm I'm still looking around. Oh, that's that's got to be the herb. Exactly. All right, cool. Oh, she drew a pentagram on my fucking floor. You demon bitch, get out of my house. You, bitch, get out. Get out. You're not bringing Satan to my motherfucking crib. Get out. Get the fuck. You, listen. Those look fine. Place them in the... I'm not placing them in the center. I'm not placing them in the center. You need to get out of my house. If you're not going to leave, I'll leave. Matter of fact, here you go. You go ahead and do whatever freaking shit you about to do. Now we just need the candles. All right, you figure that out. Bye, Oos. I'm not... Guys, I'm not doing... I'm not dealing with the pentagram, bitch. Let me out. 
We're gonna just pick up a bunch of candles, guys. I'm gonna go do all deal with all that. I'll see you in a second. I'm using the same color candles, guys. I don't know if there's a purpose for it, but I figured five red candles for a pentagram, you know? Time to light them. This is gonna be good. What are we doing, bro? Who are we calling back from the dead, bro? That's obviously what we're doing, yeah? 911, 911. No? All right. Uh, she said bring. She said light the candles. I remember now. I remember now. She said light the candles. I'm just checking to see if there's like a lighter or do I just touch them? Yeah, I can't just touch them. So there must be a lighter somewhere. If I was a lighter in my house or a matchbox, I guess that's why I really needed a matchbox. <laughs> We're ready. Do y'all see my my floor in my house right now, bro? Look at my floor in my house. Got me calling the demons and shit. Spiritual shade, we summon thee. We pray to thee. We light the way for thee. Come talk to us and join and be among us. That nigga like, I'll call you later, bro. Yeah, he, he, he wasn't vibing. You needed more gusto in your chest. That's what it was. Maybe we should go ahead and clean it up, you know? Nigga obviously not, not available right now. We can just call him back later at your house. We don't have to keep... See, look, let's blow the candles out, guys. It didn't work. That's enough. See? Let's give it a minute and see what happens. Bitch, no. They wouldn't, they, they not let me blow out the candles, guys. They don't let me blow out the candles, guys. All right, do I have to talk to you while we wait? I'm getting chills. I think something's gonna happen. Is that the knock on my front door? No, that's a knock on the window. Y'all hear that, yeah? It's a knock in my bat my bedroom. Oh, is it right here? Hi hand. Oh, he got her on the full Nelson! Oh, and the blood's dripping from the ceiling, guys! Look what you did, bitch! This is your fault! You wanted to play with the demons, now the demons are playing with your guts! Look at what they're doing to my roof, I'm not gonna get the deposit back! Look at my crib! Nigga got you in the full Nelson, and, and you're bleeding from your eyes! She's bleeding from the eyes and mouth! She's bleeding from the eyes and mouth! She gonna start speaking in tongues, what? My eyes! I can't see! Cause you fucked with the demon. Help me! Nah, bitch, the screen's getting too red. What's going on? You're dying. What have we done? I don't know, but I'm, I'm gonna just go by the crystal, open the door, and get me the fuck out, come out and play. Down the hallway we go. Succumb to forces unknown. Ending three of se seven endings? All right. So I guess I stayed there too long. And so I, 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 I died, I guess. All right, guys, we're ready. We did the spiritual shade. We su we're, we're now summoning the nigga back. This time with her eyes turned bloody red, I'm gonna just go and just see what happens, yeah? See if that's one of the endings. One of the endings is just me saying, bye, man, you by yourself. Oh, she did the, guys, she did the ritual again. So last time, if you remember, she said, give it a minute. This time she said, spiritual shade, please hear us. We summon thee, we pray to thee, we light the way for thee. Please come and talk to us, please join and be among us. She's begging this nigga this time, bro. I chose different colored candles, guys. Ugh, if nothing happened, I'm gonna be pissed. The only difference this time, guys, is I got different candles. Remember last time I had all red candles? This time I threw black candles in the mix. Lame, what an anti-climax. Let's hang around for a bit, see if anything happens. Okay, so this is a different a different version. So the candles color didn't matter, guys. At least mattered to the ending that I got. 
Still nothing. Maybe we did something wrong. The circle was definitely right. The herbs are right too. The candles then? Ugh, I don't know. It's late, I better get going. We'll try again another time. See you later. The candles really changed the ending for us, guys. Shiny ritual, nothing happened. Ending one of seven. So that's what they anticipated. Oh, that's cool. So there, there's an actual reason to choose the different color candles. But when you mix them, it messes up the ritual. Okay, I like that. All right, so we just did the five candle ritual, as you guys can see. We did the whole dialogue, so now we should, once we talk to her, be getting the knock on the window. Yep, see, I'm getting chills. I think something's gonna happen. Yep, that's the knock on the window. The handprints, bop, bop. So now her eyes, right? So when I see her face come out and play, well, stay here's bad. Bye, B. Nope. Bye bye. Let's get out of here. Escape the building. I just left. Escape the building. Yeah. I'm not staying here. Her eyes bled out, nigga. I'm going. All right, guys, as you see, we're back. Black candle time, yeah? So we're gonna light this last candle and then we're gonna see the dialogue because as I showed you guys before, when we did the mismatch candles, it ended up being a different ending completely. So my guess is that when we do the black candles, it's gonna be a different conversation. So let's find out. We're ready. Spiritual shade, we summon thee. We pray to thee. We light the way for thee. Come and talk to us. Join and be among us. Hmm. Now the phone's ringing. That is different, guys. The phone rang. Oh, fuck. What happened to you this time? Your hands on your head. I guess she's just scared because the lights blew out. This is what you wanted, yeah, man? Bro, listen to the radio. Never, ever come closer to me again, you maggot. What the hell? Look at the TV. Yo. Bitch. Oh my God, I I didn't think it would work. It's here, it's real. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. They blew the TV out and the radio. What do you think's gonna happen next? There's no more electronics in the house, bitch. Which means he's coming for us now. Talk about I'm so sorry, bro. It's dark as a bitch in here. Well. Shadow ritual, succumb to forces unknown. I set up the shadow candles, but what dawned on me is that I have this bag of crystals. Can I fuck around and beat back the entity that comes to chase us with this bag of crystals? Answer the phone. Boom, right? So now, go in here and grab the crystals. I got a bag of crystals now, guys. Hi. Oh my God, I didn't think it would work. It's here, it's real. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Now we gotta block all the all the ways it can come into the room, into the house at least, with crystals. I got one more crystal, guys. It's the, it's the main area. Get in here. The crystals work, guys. You saved us. I don't believe it. Let's not mess with this stuff again. Thank you. Stopped it before it was too late. Ending five. Got it. So the other endings are me escaping with the shadow and then me stopping the blood ritual. You guys got the gist of this game. Yes. We've done five endings. We got one more game, possibly two. Let's get to the other games. Yeah. All 
All right, guys, I'm going to attempt to play a fourth game. I don't know how this is gonna go. I I found this as a one of the games that was just, I downloaded it randomly one night, but this game is called Flea. I guess we're running from that nigga whose neck is twitching. So we'll go ahead and start a new game and get at it. A few days ago, I received a letter inviting me to search for a house. A murder had occurred there and it was abandoned shortly after. However, there's still some relics hidden in the basement. If I can retrieve them, he's willing to buy them. Got it. All right, guys, as you see, we just got here. We're at the house. Press F to thank you, turn on the flashlight. All right, this seems kind of cool. So we have to go into this house, find some relics in the basement of the house and escape. Left click in a rat, right click read and unlock. The game saved when I walked in here. All right, so there might be something in this house trying to kill me guys, based on what I could gather from the, the nigga standing in the corner like this when we started the game. Um, that's probably who's gonna be trying to kill us. So let's find our way into the house. Can we just go through this back window? No, not like that. Some, it looked like there was some blood on the floor. This has gotta be a way in. No? All right. You can't go in the house that way, guys. So I clicked on the back door and it was locked. So let's click on the front door. And the front door is open, awesome. So, we have to go find relics in this house, yes? Somebody's gonna be trying to kill us while we find these relics, which I think is fire. Because last game had a nigga just walking around for 10 minutes, doing nothing, and it was quite frustrating. Upstairs? I thought he said in the, or I guess he just said in the house, didn't he? The nigga didn't really. Who was, is that the guy? Let's go see him, guys. Let's go look at him one time. One time and then we'll actually play the game, yeah? Or did he just leave? Oh, I thought he was just like here. There's like a key here. Can I, can I pick up the key? One F storage room key added to inventory along with a note. I'm sorry I misled you. The reason this place is being abandoned hasn't been resolved yet. I hope you can help me by going into the basement to retrieve something. I wanted to pay you, but please follow my instructions. First, go to one F warehouse. How the fuck do I know what the first floor warehouse? 1F, first floor. First floor warehouse. Uh, I'm assuming it's gotta be this room back here. Yeah. Get the guitar, I guess. Or grab this key first. The second floor master bedroom key. She is watching you, but you're safe here. The basement key is on the second floor. The basic key is in the second floor bedroom. She's watching you, but you're safe here. Am I safe in this room? So like if I shut this door, this is like a safe room? Or is this, you know what I mean? Like if I do that, am I safe? And like, I'm trying to play tag with this bitch? And who the hell, and who the hell is she? All right, don't worry about it. Go upstairs. She must've been the one that we saw. Oh, that bitch is ugly. Excuse me, big mouth. Big mouth. All right, she's gone. Is she gonna try to, is that mouth for something else? Is that, is she about to take with the Gawk Gawk 3000 and kill me, bro? What did my nigga say? Uh, in Futurama, death by Snoo Snoo? Is that what's about to happen to me, bro? Death by Gawk Gawk? Is that what's about to happen, bro? Oh my God, bro, imagine death by Gawk Gawk. Like she's just like, almost, let me stop, let me stop. This kid's who watch this channel some, for some reason. <laughs> People that just said, bro, for some reason, bro. What the fuck do you want me to grab, sir? You said the key's in the second floor bedroom. I'm almost positive this is the second floor master bedroom that I just opened up. Where's the key? Is it in here? Uh, Possibly. There's blood back here, so it's gotta be. Yeah, guys, it's the, the, the whatever the fuck I'm looking for has gotta be back. Look at the blood. Who died here? Why is the why is the key that I need in a room full of bodies, bro? And then nigga put the note in here too. What do you want? Grab the note first. Grab the note first. Do you see did you see the tragedies? They were all they're doing, but I won't let this happen to you. Go to the basement. Okay. 
Nigga said I wanted it to happen to you. How's he preventing it? How's he preventing this happening to me? Miss Gawk Gawk, you in here this time? Nah. She meet me at the door? Miss Gawk, I'm trying to see what you talking about. She, cause you saw the, it was so long, bro. She just, she gonna take it. Let me stop. Let me fucking stop. I'm just talking shit, guys, because this could be scary if I let it. All right. Yep. 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 She's, uh, she's walking me down, guys. I don't know where to go. Miss Gawk, please. Miss Gawk, please. Look at her. What, look at how long her mouth is. What is she? If, do I have to t why is her nips just strings? Thank you, Ram. Did you scare her? I appreciate that. Is this the basement, please? I'm just trying to get, I'm just trying to find the basement. This, this is the gay Raj. This is the gay Raj. Uh, there's a, there's a note. Can I grab this note? Don't believe her. Okay. It said, don't believe her guys. The note said, do not believe her. Whatever she has to tell me, the answer is, is a false, is a falsehood. But she didn't do really do much talking. She was doing a lot of uh, twitching. This has got to be the basement. Thank God. All right. Hi, basement. There's an old ritual. Is this what you wanted, sir? The skull? No. There's cages down here, guys. Just go straight. Just go straight. Go straight. This nigga. Nigga. What do you want from me? What is this? You hear, you see this note says together, yes? Where's the rest of the sentence? I guess because she behind me killed him? All right, let's do the 180, yeah? Because you hear her twitching behind me. I miss. <laughs> I, like, all right. And then my nigga passed out? Like, are you dead? Get up. Am I staring at the lights? What happened? Did she kidnap me? Shit, yeah, she kidnapped me and put me in the wrong. All right. I guess you got it. Escape from here. There's a key under the bed. The front door key is hidden behind the left base near the altar on the second floor. Thank you. Altar's in the way back by the golden nigga, which is why she never ran me over. She probably scared of the golden nigga too, guys. The golden ram actually was protecting me. I didn't know it, but that's what he was doing. And I guess anytime she grabs me, it it uh it will send me back downstairs. Just because the game is called Flee. I gotta fathom that's what that's why. And I have to sneak up to the second floor without her capturing. I'm with it. Alright. I'm with it. Do I have like a does she have a path thing or am I just going upstairs to the second floor just go straight just go straight fuck her go straight on the altar on the left side didn't the nigga say the left side altar base on the second floor i see it i'm blind all right so now we have to get back down to the first floor with the key just run nope wrong way run this way She's somewhere upstairs. I don't know. I'm not worrying about it. Get out. Get out. Yep. Get to the car quickly. And she just hit the all fours, so she's hauling ass. All right. Well, as long as I run straight, I should be okay, yes? The, the cars are... I want to look back. You guys want to look back? I do, but I feel like it slows you down. Just run straight. We'll try. Thank you. Did I win? Let's see what happens if Miss Gawk Gawk catches us. All right. So Yo says get to the car quickly. Let's just go outside and turn around. Let's see what happens if she catches us, guys. Hi, Miss. <laughs> That's what happens if she catches us. You get an Elden Ring ask you died screen in, in 240p, yeah? So I hope you guys enjoyed four random horror games. I'm not gonna say nothing else other than 
I thank y'all for watching. I love y'all. And I'm going to see y'all in the next gameplay, all right? Peace.